Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's two, VAR 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the Building Maker Tools within Autodesk Revit 2016. When I say Building Maker Tools, what I'm talking about are the commands that are specific to allow you to take a mass object, work with them such that you can apply building geometries such as walls, um, roofs, curtain grid systems, uh, and floors to that mass object. So how do we go about doing this? We'll start with a uh, Revit and open up a standard architectural project. What we do is because we might be working with several um, levels, we'll head over to the north elevation and we'll just, for the purposes of this tutorial, uh, we'll go ahead and array and make it quick. So we'll put up, I don't know, say 15 levels to about right there. It's fine. And head over to a 3D view. And now we want to go ahead and create a new 3D mass, conceptual mass, and then load that mass object into our project environment. So here I'll work with the model line command and we'll go ahead and start building our object. Come on. And we'll go ahead and we'll start modifying this object as well since we're here. Uh, let's take that face, we'll rotate that face. We will select that, pull it up, and then pull this up. So something interesting, how's that? We'll save it, we'll load it into the project. So our save as family, we'll put it under C temp, call it mass family. Now that it's in there, we'll load it into the project, and we'll just place it. I'm going to get rid of this original one that we have. We'll move this into place and look at it in 3D. We'll turn shading on so you can see it a little easier. If we go to the north elevation, we can see how big it is compared to how many levels we have. So I'm going to go ahead and take these and ungroup them. And I'm going to array them some more, say 15 of them, to about there. So we'll have a really tall tower. Building Maker Tools. We can either go to Massing and Site and click Current Systems, Roof by Face, Wall by Face, or Floor by Face. Or we can go to the Architecture tab and do Wall by Face. We can do Roof by Face, and we can do Floor by Face, and we can do Curtain Systems. So they grouped it a little easier by putting it here under Model by Face. Let's start with the Curtain System. Start the command. In the Type Selector, they give you one to work with. You can duplicate it if you need to and change any properties that you want. I'm just going to leave the default. I'm going to pick the face that I want to work with. So I'll pick this face. And I'll also pick this face. Those are the two faces that I want to create a curtain system. So I'll click Create System, and it will build it for me. Modify to finish the command. I want to do Roof by Face and pick the roof that I want to deal with. If I want to make my own, I'll make my own and duplicate it. and change its properties and change its materials. And we'll make it out of something interesting. Cherry wood floor. Cherry wood. And all we need to do now is select the face that we want to act as that roof. So we'll pick that face and we'll click create roof and it will do so. Hit modify to finish the command. Wall by face, same approach. Start the command, pick the face, that you, the type that you want to work with, say, if it's on metal stud, we'll pick this face, it'll put it in. We'll then do another type, say four inch uh, brick, and we'll pick this face, and it will do it as well. Hit modify to finish the command. 
Lastly, we want floor by face. In order to do floor by face, you need to select the mass object first. So another easy way to select it is just select everything and then just choose mass under the filter. Now that you have it selected, you can click mass floors and put in as many mass floors as you want. Now that they're in there, we can go ahead and we can say floor by face and we can select all the mass floors. And what kind of floor are we working with? Pick the one you want or make your own. Click create floor and it will get created. You want to hide that mass object. Again, you can just select everything, check the mass object, right click and hide. And so very, very quickly I can use the building maker tools to build a Revit model based upon that mass object. I'm going to undo the visibility of the mass object. I'm going to go back to the mass object family and I'm going to make changes because at the end of the day that's what ends up happening. So I'm going to pull this and I'm going to pull this. Oops, sorry. Can't pull too much, especially when you're breaking it like that. Um, and we will pull this out. And maybe the design change is going to be this. We'll save it. We'll load it back into the project, overwrite the existing one. The changes have been updated. If we go look at it in 3D, we can see that we need to make some modifications to our building. So I can select, for example, the roof and say, update to face, done. I can pick, uh, let's say that wall, say SA for select all, update to face. Select a floor, SA, to select all of them, say update to face. And keep going. So select this curtain system, select SA to select all, and update to face. And then lastly, we've got this wall here. And SA, select update to face, and everything's updated. So you can very quickly build a Revit model based upon a mass object and make the updated necessary changes when you're finished. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much for watching my screencast on the Building Maker tools in Revit. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up.